Sup Thomas. What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Thomas and today we are looking at what sold out from Supreme Week 6, the Undercover Collaboration. Maybe a little bit of news about Week 7. Let's get into it. So guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. I'm at 770 right now. As you can see there, boom. So appreciate all the support. Help me getting to a thousand subs. And yeah, what sold out from week six? If we go to the new page of Supreme's web store, we do see that we have sold out of the undercover puffer jacket. Yes, it took some time, but the $700 puffer jacket did in fact sell out which this isn't that surprising given this piece probably had a pretty low production value when you compare it to one of the regular pieces like a t-shirt accessory etc battle dress uniform the undercover collab still fully available in all sizes people were not feeling this one for the 600 bucks i kind of understand now our good old friend, the Brain and Crossbones track jacket did sell out 220 bucks. I think this is definitely a clean piece from last week. So I understand why it sold out a little bit more affordable than the other pieces as well. So not entirely surprising that given time over the weekend, this piece did sell out too. And did you guys cop anything from Supreme week six or Supreme recently at all? Last week I did grab the face tee, we'll get into that later, and I think that was just it, I just grabbed one item, so yeah, bobbleheads didn't go for those, those ended up selling out too, we'll get into that later on in the video, but the plaid short sleeve shirts also sold out, along with the black and white solid short sleeve shirts with the peace builder, undercover supreme, I got a lot of mixed reviews from people of saying whether they like this collab or not or not i kind of found it was two ends of the spectrum like you either loved the collab or you hated it i guess a few people said it was all right some people weren't too opinionated about it but that's where that was from from my perspective as a small supreme youtuber the anti you designs are sold out that's not exactly surprising a piece like this in the past would have sold out very fast for sure and it's only that, you know, Supreme has a little bit less hype these days, maybe more production volume, higher retail prices, that we aren't seeing those lightning fast sellout times quite like we did in the past. But you know, like, when we do get those sellout times, it is pretty cool. The undercover uh, Egyptian hoodie is fully available still. Like... Whenever we do have a box, I'll go drop the Burberry release, whatever, and it is hyped. It's really nostalgic for me. You know, it brings me back to getting into Supreme for the first time. Moto Jersey, surprisingly, still available. Don't sleep. There's just something about getting on the web store five minutes before, refreshing the page, getting excited, playing your music. Yeah, I do these live cop videos now, and a couple of them have been pretty hype, but usually it's pretty easy. So I, I really think I'm going to dial it back on those videos, unfortunately, because I don't know about you guys, but watching me go on a website and just buy a shirt that's available for three more days is not that interesting, even though it does get views. You know, it's not all about the views for me. It's about the passion. That's why I got into this, right? Rebel Gods sold out. Dragon Wrap T sold out. I know I'm having like two different conversations at once right now, but I think it's important. I think it's, you guys know I'm just going through the items, clicking through, seeing what's sold out, seeing what's not. You can read, you can look at the screen. But yeah, there's just something, something about the hype that makes Supreme a lot of fun. And you don't need it for sure. You know, the designs stand alone. But when you do have that hype, when you do have people clamoring to get what you just were able to get it feels good you know you feel excited you feel like you've accomplished something right you feel like you've won a race because you have you've proven you were faster or you used to fucking bot i've never used a bot on supreme so i wouldn't know what that's all about quick little detour 
If you guys aren't familiar with this face tee, I'm actually super happy I copped it because The Fallen Angel is a French painting by Alexander Cabanel. And anyway, it's the, basically the same design of depicting Satan after he fell from hell or Lucifer as he is named, as he is known as sometimes. But this tea has really only grown on me since seeing that picture of the Fallen Angel painting. So super happy to have it and it is sold out finally. It took a while for that one. Getting closer to the end, Lupin the third shirt, finally sold out, anime movie. Can't believe it took so long for that one to sell out personally, but hey, you really never know. Jeans sold out, battle dress uniform, cargo pants, still available, almost done. Believe it or not, the, okay, so these pants are not available or still available, the matching Egyptians, track pants sold out. Supreme Undercover hats sold out, cherry hats still in stock, utility belt, the belt waist bag still available. I think the price does it on this one, this should be 99 bucks, not 138, 500%. And finally, last but not least, the Anti-U rug sold out along with both sets of the bobblehead. So hope you guys enjoyed the video today. This is what sold out from Supreme Week 6. Stay tuned to the channel for all information on Supreme Week 7. It's been your boy Thomas, and I'm out. Peace and butt grease. See ya.